Great shot of downtown Detroit looking at Campus Martius. So don't you love the turf that's down there instead of the ice rink? Really turned the corner there and there's the fountain and then everything, the NFL draft stage that we saw Sean Lay show us all around. Um, the cool part about downtown, even if you're not in the NFL experience places, there's so many places to eat, to watch the draft, and there are a lot of new restaurants and bars that are opening up just in time for uh, the 400,000 of our newest friends who are going to be coming into Detroit. Ken Haddad from ClickOnDetroit.com joins me now because he put together the list of all of the new places, including Dunkin' Donuts. Right, That's the big one, honestly. Like, the fact that there's no Dunkin' Donuts in downtown Detroit. In downtown Detroit. Oh, lacking. but there is one yeah. now. Excellent coffee, yeah. I will have to say. Yeah. All right, Ken, so when you put everything together, um, you know, what are we looking at in terms of numbers of new stuff that's popping up? It's unbelievable. Yeah. There's so many new places that clearly were aiming to open exactly just in time for the NFL draft. Um, hopefully they stay open after that. You know, like yeah. some of these places are kind of temporary. So um, one of the new things, and they're not all restaurants and bars. Some of them are activities. So there's a roller rink and arcade that just opened up. Um, pretty close to Campus Marsh is called the Next Level Rollercade. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just an activity. It's family friendly. A little bit of an 80s flashback for it me is. there. It is. Arcades are, arcades are making a comeback right I now. Like There's it. like four arcades in Detroit now. <laughs> um, and then across the street, um, Adelina just opened, which is a new Italian restaurant from a uh, reality show chef, uh, Fabio Viviani, who mm -hmm. was on Top Chef for a while. Um, Gilly's Clubhouse opened up right next to the blue on Woodward. That's um, in honor of Dan Gilbert's son. Yeah. So, um, and Chipotle just opened up, which hey. is like, sometimes the simplest stuff just make, <laughs> makes us all very happy. It's just nice to have access to some of that stuff. The, uh, this is my kid's favorite meal. It's like whenever it's like, what do we want for dinner? It's like, yeah. they're like, Chipotle? I'm like, again? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it never misses. Um, but there's a, lot, there's a lot of stuff. There's and, and I should note that this is based around a lot of the bedrock properties um, that have tenants in them. So mm -hmm. there's also a lot of stuff that are non-bedrock uh, tenants that are opening up. Um, there's a place called The Lone Goat that's in downtown Detroit that just opened up. It's an no, <laughs> Irish pub. Yeah. Um, Vecino up in Midtown just opened up, which is a uh, Mexico City inspired restaurant. There's, a, there's so many new places to check out, not just in downtown, but up into the neighborhoods, um, up into Midtown and New Center and all of that. And there's a lot of places that have opened up just in the last six months you know, leading up to the draft. They, they got a head start on all these places opening right. just now, like today. Do so. you have any favorite picks? Oh man, I mean, anything at the Book Tower, honestly. Hiroki-san, there's a, there's a yeah, cool Yeah, you talked bar about that, there. you said it was really good. Yeah, uh, La Supreme, which is in there too. So mm -hmm. if you want to check out the Book Tower, it's really beautifully, you know, restored now. Mm -hmm. um, you could just walk through the lobby and grab a drink. I think that's a great place to check out. You know? I love the fact that we had the interactive map and you can see, you know, the draft footprint of where kind of some of the official things are. But really, if you're going to come on down here, knowing that there's other places out, outside of that that you might end up, you take in the atmosphere, but you might end up doing a little bit better if you go outside. For sure. I mean, it's definitely going to be easier to get in at places outside right. of the downtown circle. It's going to be easier to park, easier to just get to in, in general. So mm -hmm. I would encourage people, if you're coming down to Detroit for the first time in a while, uh, maybe, you know, after you're done exploring the draft, maybe, you know, explore some of the neighborhoods around the draft. Yeah, and you can really get there um, from the, the bus system there. Also, you know, if you if you do want to loop around, People Mover actually can be really good at if you it park is. somewhere and get somewhere. I took the queue line. Actually, I parked up on Cass, and then we rode the queue line down just to see how long it would take us to get down. It's yeah. 20 minutes. You have to you have to walk. Yeah. But um, I think one of those things, Ken, is when we talk about big events, we look back to the Super Bowl and then where we are now um, and just seeing where things can go from there when you're attracting big events is a pretty big deal. Yeah, it's and it's really it's it's like a night and day difference too mm -hmm. as far as like the things that people can do in Detroit right now compared to 20 years ago. Yeah. Um, there's just so much going on, so take it all in, enjoy it. I assume some of these places will disappear, honestly, yeah. after the draft, but hopefully most of them stick around. Yeah. Um, there's just there's a lot of options. So. And you've got it all at Click On, right? Yes, we'll be. We've got your full NFL draft coverage, things you want to do, you know, all that stuff's on Click On Detroit. Thanks, Ken. Appreciate it. Yep. We should go grab a bite after this. Go walk downtown. I'm We're down. just like I'll see you just at Duncan. walk there. That's. I'll see you at Duncan. <laughs> Perfect. All right, Ken Haddad, ClickOnDetroit.com. Remember our draft special coming up at eight o'clock tonight.